Before 1960, Hancock County was serviced by two high schools, one located in Hallsville and one in Lewisport. In 1961, both high schools were consolidated into the Hancock County High School, located on U.S. Highway 60 between the two towns. By 1971, enrollment had increased to such an extent that a new high school building was necessary, and enrollment in the four county grade schools indicated the need of a Hancock County Middle School. Hancock County High School is located on a 42-acre tract of land, which includes the Hancock County Middle School, a bus garage which services all 24 county school buses, a seven-acre environmental lab, a football field bleacher concession stand, an eight-lane quarter-mile track, and parking accommodations of approximately 1,000 vehicles. Hancock Countyans have found the location of Hancock High between Lewisport and Hallsville, where the bulk of the population reside, as extremely convenient. The physical location of the high school building encourages an active community school relationship and has proven equally beneficial to industry within the county for conducting workshops, guest speakers, and class-related field trips. School and church still remain the focal point for the majority of Hancock Countyans' instructional and recreational needs. Hancock High is pleased to provide recreational areas of interest for our community's needs, including athletics, dramatic, and musical presentations. But now, let's take a tour of Hancock High. The Commons area of Hancock High School serves the multipurpose needs of its 527 member student body and a 38 member faculty and staff. The Commons is used as a cafeteria, assembly room, testing center, stage for dramatic and musical presentations, and general gathering place for students before school and during this daily 15 minute break. The Commons area of Hancock High is one of the few auditoriums within the county that can accommodate a large crowd for a dinner theater, a public forum, a symphony orchestra, or several small club meetings. Community involvement through utilization of the physical building is not by accident, but was commonly planned. It is not uncommon for several community clubs meeting nightly in various parts of the high school building. These may vary from a county planning and zoning committee meeting in the media center to an adult education class in the computer lab to a church service being held in the commons. We are extremely proud of the interaction between school and community in Hancock High. But now, let's take a look at Hancock High School, at the students, the teachers, and of the programs of which we are all so proud. The English department is perhaps the largest department in the building with a staff of six teachers. Presently, each student is required to take three full years of English before graduation, but by the academic year 1986-87, a four-year program will be mandatory. English grammar, writing and reading skills, and literature are emphasized at each grade level. Honors classes as well as remedial classes are also available to enable students on all academic levels to work at their fullest capacity. Journalistic skills are developed in Journalism 1 and 2 classes. News reporting, layout, and photography schools culminate in The Sting, the school newspaper printed four times yearly. Several journalism class members are also actively involved as staff members of the signature, the Hancock County Yearbook. World, English, and American literature are analyzed through the present three-year course of study with short stories, novels, plays, and poetry, the major literary expression studied. Writing skills are stressed not only in the English department, but throughout the building in all academic areas. And students are encouraged to express themselves in creative writing, both in short story and poetry, and their work often appears in the school newspaper and in the Hancock Clarion. The French program incorporates the cultural as well as historical background of the French language. Equal emphasis is given to reading, writing, and speaking of French. The French Club is extremely active within the building and raises money for yearly trips during the spring break and summer vacation. Quebec, New Orleans, and Paris are only a few of the French-speaking cities visited by the French Club members during the past few years. Primarily a performance-oriented class, the drama class presents three actual productions each year, with at least one of these being a children's theater production presented at each of the county's grade schools. Children's theater is particularly successful as it allows most high school students their first indoctrination to staged productions and at the same time creates a bond between the grade school children and these young adults. In this day and age of apathy and comp compliancy, it is refreshing to observe young adults willing to give of their time and talent to educate and to entertain their young brothers and sisters. 
As members of the Kentucky High School Speech League, students in past years have received outstanding state recognition in duet acting, storytelling, impromptu speaking, and one-act plays. WHCS is a closed circuit on-campus radio station, one of only six high school radio stations in Kentucky. The radio program at Hancock High is a pioneer in mass communication. WHCS broadcasts to the student body two hours and 15 minutes daily. School-related announcements, weather, and sports are broadcast to the student body during each of the three lunch periods, before the school day and during break. As a wheel must have a hub, the hub of Hancock High is the Media Center. Housing more than 6,400 books and 34 weekly and monthly periodicals and extensive research materials on microfish, film strips, and videotapes, the Media Center acts as a resource center for teachers and students alike. One full-time librarian and one part-time aide spend active days videotaping Kentucky educational television programs, distributing audiovisual materials, conducting freshman orientation classes in library skills, processing new materials, and keeping abreast of new computer software. Long gone are the days in which a librarian only checked out books. Our media consultant knows from maps requested what country is being studied in geography from books placed on reserve that the art department is beginning a, a unit in modern contemporary painters. From book distribution list, she knows that book reports are being presented in history. Her film strip index shows that ag is studying soil judging. The history department utilizes a staff of five teachers and offers a course offering in world and U.S. history, geography, civics, psychology, and sociology. With emphasis on map study, note-taking and current events, and oral reports, the History Department blends the past with the present. Students in Action, the History Department sponsored club, sponsors Youth Day, which allows students to investigate various careers by filling the roles of corporate management and county administration. SIA also provides instruction in voting registration and voting procedure by installing voting machines at the school for all major elections. The computer lab is located adjacent to the media center. Computers are used by virtually every teacher in the building, but computer classes are taught by members of the business and math departments. Students may receive two years of concentrated computer study, with computer literacy being the goal of the entire student body by 1986. The 11 unit computer lab can be connected to a network enabling the teacher to review basic fundamentals with the class as a whole, or the network can release individual computers to allow students to work on variations of software programming. Adults in the community have expressed the desire to learn computer basics, and evening classes are presently being taught in the computer lab. Individual students are urged to use the computer facilities, and special in-service time has been allotted to this skill. A variety of software on a variety of academic levels allows students to exercise computer time in special education programs as well as advanced mathematics. Science and math are so closely integrated by the teaching staff that it is impossible to separate the two disciplines. Math and science requirements at Hancock High vary with individual students' backgrounds and future plans. Students are required to attend a minimum of two years in each area of study with strong encouragement given by administration and staff for additional coursework. By 1987, all students will be required to complete a three-year math program with consumer math added to the math department listings. Effective with the 1983-84 freshman class, a tri-level diploma was made available by the Hancock County Board of Education. Hancock High awards one-fourth credit per nine-week grading period per class. Thus, four nine-week grading periods total into one unit or one credit. The State Department of Education has established basic or standard requirements for math, science, English, history, and physical education. Elective offerings are established by individual school systems. Hancock High has effective elective offering classifications into two groups with advanced science, math, social studies, business, and foreign language compiling the bulk of the group A electives and all other department electives compiling the bulk of group B electives. Within the tri-level diploma system, level three diploma graduates are required to complete a 14 standard state requirements and seven electives of their choice. Level two diplomas 
also known as the academic diploma, requires the 14 state requirements plus five credits in the Group B elective disciplines. Level 1 diplomas, or honors diploma, is awarded to those students who complete state requirements, five credits in the advanced electives, and three additional credits in the general elective areas. Level 1 diploma students are college bound and graduate with a total of 22 hours. Of the two required science classes, one must be in biological science and one must be in physical science. To enter Kentucky colleges, biology 1 and chemistry or physics 1 is required and these classes are added as requirements for the level 1 and 2 diplomas. Students and parents are learning that Hancock County young people can academically compete with students in this district and throughout the Commonwealth. More than just compete, these students excel. Academically gifted students are given the chance to compete at the state level on the Kentucky Educational Television Program, Scholastic Bowl Challenge, the Monsanto Math and Science League, and the Western Kentucky University Advanced History Test allows for intellectual challenge to our young people. The Home Economics Department is one of the most innovative in the school. Specialized classes in parenthood, food management, family relation, and family living benefit students both male and female. Far from being a lecture-oriented program, home economics students learn by doing. Innovative programs are recognized as outstanding throughout the state. FHA acts as a strong cohesive agent between school and community. Indeed, a 30-minute program could easily be given on the home economics department alone. The three-member business department offers a four-year course of study. Up-to-date equipment allows for implementation of typing, shorthand, accounting, business law, and business management classes. The 15-desk model office provides students with problem-solving situations in a controlled environment. The model office, when combined with a seven-unit business department computer lab, prepares students for a world of work or advanced training after graduation. We might note here that the business computer lab and the computer lab adjacent to the media center are two separate units. Since the business staff works in both labs, the number of students exposed to computer science is more than doubled. The business department receives considerable positive feedback from students, parents, and business and industry on the high quality of the business program. Industrial education students become proficient in wood, metal, working projects. Students learn a wide range of disciplines from the casting and forging of metal, to working with sheet metal, to construct heating and air conditioning ducts, to creating art metal projects. The chemistry of wood is analyzed and basic to intricate cabinetry projects are designed. Hand tools to the most intricate machine shop tools are mastered with students learning to work with wood and metal for financial and personal gain. Art department is one of the most popular elective areas at Hancock High. Art 1 and 2 classes serve as an overview of history of art and art appreciation from prehistoric cave paintings to modern impressionistic sculpture. Students receive hand-on experiences in drawing and painting, ceramics, jewelry making, crafts, calligraphy, sculpture, and photography. Art 1 and 2 serve as a springboard to the more advanced students, and independent study classes accommodate diversified advanced training in these areas. The art department is equipped with a complete photography laboratory. Students learn to build their own pinhole cameras, shoot the pictures, process the film, print the negatives, and mount the finished picture. Also as part of the photography unit, 8 millimeter film and computer animation is studied. Photography facilities are used by both the school newspaper and by the staff of the yearbook, the majority of whom are trained by art department staff. The art department faculty displays student art projects throughout the high school building, and student sculpture and painting are displayed in local businesses for the public enjoyment. The art department has captured the respect of local businesses and industries. The Hancock County Clarion often publishes student photography. American Olean provides local clay for hand and wheel projects. And Kentucky Educational Television has aired several animated films completed by students and art faculty. The art department is co-sponsor of the Kentucky Gallery of Arts and Crafts, an annual 140 booth arts and crafts show held each spring at Hancock High. Approximately 3,000 citizens attended last year's Gallery of Arts and Crafts, and 8,000 are expected at this year's show. Even though industry has transformed Hancock County into one of the wealthiest counties in the Commonwealth, agriculture is still of major importance to the county's per capita income.
a four-year vocational agricultural department devotes the first two years to the natural exploration sciences with the basics of animal, plant, and soil units analyzed. The next two years, emphasis is placed on agricultural mechanics with engine, wood, metal building construction, welding, and basic farm implement repair. FFA is the largest student organization in the United States. The Hancock County chapter is active on the local, regional, and state levels. Meat, livestock, and land judging, tobacco grading, and leadership contests and public speaking are only a few of the areas first learned in the agriculture classes and then implemented in FFA contest. The agriculture department manages the school's seven-acre environmental lab. The environmental lab acts as an exploratory laboratory with a small greenhouse, a pond filled with bass, and an outside classroom shelter. Plans are to add a Christmas tree farm and to add the production of strawberries to next year's curriculum. The Agricultural Department has incorporated into this academic program a JTPA program. This job training program is designed to keep the young people in the high school who often drop out of school upon reaching their 16th birthdays. Eleven students are presently active in the program, which places in them the jobs within the community to work in a job study setting. The music department is composed of chorus and three separate bands. The chorus presents two concerts yearly, one in the spring and one at Christmas. During this four-year chorus program, history and music appreciation are studied, with special emphasis given to vocabulary, signs, symbols, and four-part singing. The band is the pride and joy of Hancock Countyans and boasts the largest parent-student organization in the school, the Hancock County Band Boosters. Really not one, but three separate bands, the band program is composed of 140 students. The Hancock Marching Band performs at home football games each fall and competes in five marching band contests in Kentucky and Indiana yearly. The honors first place trophies, ribbons, and excellence ratings only testify to the dedication and precision recognized not only by Hancock Countyans, but statewide. The concert band season begins at the conclusion of the fall marching band season. The concert band performs three concerts per year, one at Christmas, one as a pop concert in February, and the third as a spring concert in May. Community support is so great for these concerts that even the commons area that seats several hundred people will not accommodate the crowd and the gymnasium must be used. It is the concert band that participates in concert band festivals on the national level. The Jazz Ensemble was founded five years ago as a performing organization within the school curriculum. The Jazz Ensemble performs music at various styles ranging from jazz to pop to rock. Performing at several concerts in various civic organizations yearly, perhaps the most popular performance conducted by the Jazz Ensemble is the dinner dance in the spring. Hancock High has surprisingly few discipline problems, but when discipline problems do arise, instead of expulsion from the building, students are assigned to the alternative classroom. The ALC room isolates these students from the student body while providing counseling and supervised classroom work submitted by the student's individual teacher. The newest department in the building is the Special Education Department. The three member staff have extensive training in the working with students with learning disabilities or are mentally or emotionally handicapped. Students are referred to this department by parents, teachers, and often by the students themselves. Only after extensive testing, such as the Peabody Individual Achievement Test and the Weekler Intelligence Scale for Adults, only after extensive parent-teacher interviews, only after parental assent is granted by the students placed in the majority of the day in the special education department. It is the goal of the special education program to mainstream handicapped students into the regular classroom curriculum, not to isolate these students from their peers. Curriculum in special education is based on each individual student's ability with state requirement classes available and elective classes taught in the regular classroom. Even after the student leaves the program, the special education teacher acts as a resource consultant to the regular teachers within the building. Hancock High shares with other schools in the county a speech and hearing therapist. Students with speech impairments or hearing disabilities are referred to this teacher for individual therapy. Driver education is a one semester class in which students are required by the Commonwealth to have 30 hours of classroom instruction with six additional hours behind the wheel. The 10-phase classroom instruction is divided into units that range 
from the significance of motor vehicle registration and licensing to alcohol and drug abuse to the purchasing and insuring of an automobile and to motorcycle safety. Local and state police are frequent guests in driver education classes and present safety-related fans and answer questions on state driving laws. Behind the wheel phases began with the basic driving skills and quickly escalate to highway driving. Parents are particularly fond of this class because students with formal driver education training received reduced insurance premiums on the family car. The Physical Education Department offers four full-year program of study, with one year, the freshman year, being a mandatory State Department of Education requirement. The freshman physical education class is divided into two distinct areas, health and the basic physical education units. Health meets twice weekly, with the physical education activities conducted the remaining three days. Health classes cover a variety of subject matter, including the circulatory and respiratory systems, first aid and CPR, nutrition, and consumer education. Freshman PE covers volleyball, bowling, flag football, badminton, basketball, and several other sports. Freshman students in the physical education classes are not graded on skill, but rather on attitude and effort, with sportsmanship and teamwork the major emphasis. The weight room is used by virtually every athletic program in its pre-season conditioning periods, with professional weightlifting equipment, supervised instruction, young men and women have the opportunity to reach the peak of physical conditioning. The weight room is joined by a whirlpool, men and women's locker room, and taping and equipment rooms to make Hancock High one of the few schools in this area with such modern facilities. Advanced physical education requirements include refereeing and umpiring, scoring and statistics, and the taping of injuries. The theory and techniques of officiating tennis, golf, basketball and baseball and track events are studied in addition to those sports carried over from the freshman classes. Basketball is still king at Hancock High, with a school boasting six basketball teams. Equal emphasis is placed on men and women's athletic programs, and the boys' varsity and the girls' varsity basketball program is backed by junior varsity and freshman teams. The gymnasium is a special pride to the athletic department and allows for a variety of inside sports activity and practice periods. Spring sports are every bit as enthusiastically staffed as their fall counterpart. Track and cross-country events have produced several state record holders, and it is not uncommon to find community members utilizing the eight-lane track for their personal physical fitness programs. Men and women's tennis teams compete actively each spring, with more than 15 meets with students in other school systems. The golfing program enjoys the facilities of the Hancock County Country Club, and both men and women's varsity teams have received regional and state recognition. The newly founded women's softball team won their district in their first year of participation and were runners-up in regional competition. More than 40 women tried out for this 24-member team. Men's baseball enjoyed a 20-5 and season in 84 and were District 11 and Regional 2 champions. Coaches and staff look forward to similar seasons this year. Football entered its 12th season this year with varsity, junior varsity, and freshman teams. Classified as a double A school, Hancock County competes with conference games with schools of comparable enrollment. Nine of the past 12 seasons have proven winning seasons for the Fighting Hornet squad, and attendance at the school Schaefer Glover Field is excellent. This year was a building year for the Hornets, with next year's squad being perhaps the strongest in the school's history. Football programs are pleased to have provided players for collegiate squads, and two Hancock County High School graduates are presently playing on professional teams. All right. The cafeteria staff prepares 360 Class A lunches during each academic year. The staff of five operates two separate lunch lines with different menus in each line. The cafeteria is completely self-supporting, with federal assistance based upon actual student participation. 63% of the student body participate in the lunchroom program, which testifies to the nutritional value and variety of menu. The Hancock County office staff can be matched by no other. As head of all secretaries and aid staff in the building, the school secretary also has the responsibility for all bookkeeping and money responsibilities for the building. Also on the office staff are two full-time secretary aides. State attendance records and individual students' absence reports are tallied daily, and parents and students not in school are notified. Hancock County High School has a daily attendance record of 96.4, ranking us among the top counties in Kentucky.
The guidance counselor at Hancock High has 17 years of classroom teaching experience before accepting the position of guidance counselor. The interaction with students, the experience with the classroom, has produced a guidance counselor that knows young people and understands the high school curriculum and the classroom structure. Individual accumulative folders are kept in the guidance counselor's office, with the guidance counselor adding test scores, grades, health records, special physical problems, and letters of recommendation to each student's files. Federal privacy laws allows only teaching staff and parents access to these files. Extensive testing on all grade levels is conducted by the guidance department. The comprehensive test of basic skills is given to students in grades 9 through 11. This test measures reading, spelling, language, mathematics, reference skills, science, and social studies. This comprehensive test is usually administered in the spring and aids the placement of students in comprehensive classes for the next academic year. The Ohio Vocational Interest Survey and the Picture Inventory Exploration Survey are used to determine the student's field of interest. Aptitude tests include Test of Cognitive Skills and the Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery and General Aptitude Test Battery are administered yearly. Individual and group counseling, teacher and student scheduling, college and vocational placement, and the averaging of grade points for valedictorian and salutatorian address are only a few of the duties of the guidance counselor. The second annual career day was recently held at Hancock High and the senior class members were able to interview more than 20 colleges, vocational training centers, and career-oriented program. The assistant principal has been in effect for only five years at Hancock County High School. Acting as athletic director, the assistant principal must schedule more than 100 basketball games alone. In effect, the athletic director schedules more than 190 athletic events yearly. The assistant principal shares a secretary with the administrative and teaching staff. The Hancock High has a three-member janitorial staff. Because of the building is constantly being used by school and community activities both day and night, the maintenance of the building is never ending. The assistant principal works closely with community and club organizations. CODAP, or the Christian Oriented Drug Awareness Program, presents programs yearly at Hancock High. Recently, CODAP presented a drug and alcohol awareness program to the entire student body. Local and state police law enforcement agency officers presented a skit that was both informative and educational. Working with the principal, the assistant principal oversees discipline policies and procedures within the building. Students and parent conferences take up a good part of this gentleman's busy day. As chairman of the attendance committee, the assistant principal reviews those students who have exceeded the given number of excused absences. Students may be absent with doctor's excuse or similar excused absences for seven days during the 18-week grading period. More than seven unexcused absences may result in expulsion from the building. The principal of Hancock High has served the school system as teacher and guidance counselor and during the past 10 years as the building's chief administrator. The principal oversees the complete operation of the building, including all finance, curriculum, faculty, and staff. The principal acts as liaison between the high school and the superintendent and the Board of Education. Actively involved in curriculum development and scheduling, the principal spends hours daily counseling with students and encouraging the development of new and innovative programs. The principal keeps students and faculty informed on school announcement and acts as chairman of frequent faculty meetings. As a seven-week class project, the media class elected to produce and direct this video presentation. Students planned the overall storyboard, choreographed each shot, previewed each foot of tape, edited and dubbed the final footage. This was not a new experience for many media class students, as similar types of programs such as Youth News was executed by these students last year on Kentucky Educational Television. These young people enjoy projects of this nature and have already begun to design a storyboard for a student training them in chemistry and for a state special education conference in the spring. Many of these media students will continue their education in areas of television, radio, film production, and animated cartooning. Graduates of the program are presently employed in leading radio and television stations throughout the state. More than 300 clock hours, the majority of which were spent out of school time, went into the presentation of this tape. Our tour of Hancock High is almost over, and there are so many people outside this building that influence our every program and our every class offering that you have not met during this tape presentation.
We have a superintendent that has devoted his entire life to Hancock County School System. And we have a dedicated board of education that unselfishly give of their time and talent to ensure an outstanding education to Hancock County children. And the parents, whose children spend eight hours daily in school buildings throughout the county, are understanding and supportive and encouraging to all faculty and staff. And the students themselves are an outstanding group of young people. The cooperation and respect shown to faculty and staff is unsurpassed in any other school system. We would like to extend an invitation for you to visit Hancock County High School and indeed any school building within the county. A call to the principal's office will ensure your own personal tour. But now, as only Robert Frost could say, and we have promises to keep and miles to go before we sleep and miles to go before we sleep. Good evening.